Hey guys, Jessica here with Twin Hollies Landscaping. Today we are at this beautiful home. It is almost 70 degrees in January and we are getting ready to replace some old plants, some mismatched plants, and um, start fresh with new ones. So after we do that, we'll freshen up the pea gravel and we'll be all set. We're starving here. Landscape Twin Hollies. She just never give us breaks. Never. Like, and we need them. We're starving. Hungry. Yeah, so hungry. If we're hungry. What you like? We can eat right at the end of the day. We should take care of that before you got to work. But we're getting tired of it. Yeah. Kinda. What do you want to do about it? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, Brandon, tell the camera how she don't ever give us a break. Right, to give us a break. She don't ever give us breaks. Adult labor laws. You work 12 hours. Why don't you get a break at least? I mean, at least one. I mean, if we work about eight a day, bro. Yeah. About eight a day. I think we should get extra pay for not being able to You know what a break consists of? Riding in the truck. Yeah. <laughs> Driving. And we don't, like? we're not allowed to stop. Ever. I mean, what are we supposed to do? Like, like I'm not I guess I should go it. help this guy. Oh. Yeah, go help him. get some plants laid out here we have some little soft touch hollies under the window I don't like to put anything tall that's going to cover any windows um, but I did want some height on this garage side so I chose these Spartan junipers they are going to stay narrow like this because this is kind of a small tight spot so um, they will stay tall and narrow and give the some height on the house. Um, that's a little color there with the purple or the chocolate floor pedlums. Come around to the front here. Put some knockout roses in front of each window here and there. 
over there so we have some symmetry and border with the soft touch hollies just trying to keep this very simple for the customer and low maintenance so here's the other knockout roses soft touch gonna put the chocolate lower pedlums in front of this window it's a little higher but um, they'll stay below there and fill in this whole area once we get that clear out and then some more height over here with the other juniper so like I said in the other video in group plant in groups of three so I have three of the Spartan junipers here and then two in front of the garage over there and then all odd numbers everything else we left those three boxwood back there as well Something that's really important to talk about in the south is crepe myrtles. Where I'm from in Ohio, we don't have this plant, so I've had to learn quite a bit about it. But one thing that I have learned is do not cut them back. Um, everyone around here just chops them way down in the wintertime. They will come back. Sometimes they don't come back that great. Sometimes they don't bloom. But what it's doing is shortening their life. Um, and it just it's opening them up for disease and all kinds of stuff that you don't want your crepe myrtles to get because it's a gorgeous tree and it blooms for a long time starting probably mid to late June all the way through September maybe even, maybe even October depending on um, how the weather is so these crepe myrtles here have been trimmed year after year after year you can see what kind of shape they're in um, they're not in good shape I've trimmed them because it really had to to make them look you know any kind of decent way and like I said I trimmed them because they were already done um, in the previous years but look at all this all this dead right here it's just awful they can't come out and bloom like they're supposed to you can see this should be a full beautiful tree and it is stunted um, and it's just looking like it is it's not it's not a healthy tree um, we also had a really bad killing frost uh, late last spring that hurt a lot of the crepe myrtles around here so these ones were fortunate to even bloom um, like they did but they don't look great and this poor little guy over here I already cut him too and um, you can see where he's just been cut on and cut on instead of um, getting to live a good life. So, moral of this story is don't cut your crepe myrtles back like this. It's okay to trim these seed pods off, but nature really will do it for them eventually. But if you just can't stand it, you can cut a little bit of that off, but just don't, don't murder them. A2, time to plant. Look at that beard. Yeah, yeah. Show, show him your beard, Dylan. Close. He wish he had some beard like it. I got more no. hair. Yeah. I got more nose hair than he does on his face. My woman don't like it, okay? Dylan, you gotta zoom out. My woman don't like it, okay?